Or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name's Gabby. And I'm here on a Monday. My name's Mike. Yes. <laughs> and Mike has never been in a Kia Soul. Yeah, I've never been in a Soul. I got a question for you though. Is it hip to be square? Only if the square in question is this beautiful square. Kia Soul. <laughs> so this one is the EX Plus trim level, which is absolutely the top seller here in Canada at least. This vehicle offers great features, comfort features like heated seats and a heated steering wheel, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a whole lot more. We're going to break down everything in today's video. It's going to be a full walkthrough of the interior and the exterior. Now if you are new here, this is a live video, so we're filming this in real time, no scripts, no nothing. Sometimes our quality gets pretty bad, the video quality, yeah. if the weather gets a little wonky. So bear with us but I promise it'll be at least a little bit informative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that being said, our live videos usually have a pretty long intro, so feel free to skip to around the three or four minute mark. That's when we'll actually start doing the walkthrough. But in the meantime, those viewers that are watching live in real time with us are stuck with us for our intro. Yes. So Mike, why do we do this? All right, so we do these videos for three reasons. The first reason is if you own a Kia or a Hyundai and you wanna learn a lot more about your vehicle, obviously this is the channel to be at. We have almost 2,000 videos. You'll find the trip. You'll, you'll find the make model trim that you have here if it's a Kia. Or you'll Hyundai. find what you're looking yes. for. That's for sure. <laughs> number two. You want me to continue with number yeah, two? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, if you're in the market for a vehicle and you haven't considered a Kia or a Hyundai, um, we definitely yeah, why not? We definitely <laughs> want you to add it to your selector list. Again, a lot of info to help you guys make the decision that you want and get into the car that's most ideal for you. Your soulmate, maybe. Exactly. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> so many soul puns in today's video, please. There's um, gonna be tons. Please. Number three. <laughs> If you've decided to buy a Kia or a Hyundai, why not buy from us? And you live in Ontario, sorry. Ooh. Which is in Canada. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, why not buy from us? We've got three locations. We're here at Brantford Kia, about two minutes down the street, Brantford Hyundai, where I work at. And if you go up north, Owen Sound Hyundai is a place you can visit to as well. And obviously, we'll help you finish your journey to getting into that vehicle, which I hope started at by watching one of these videos. Yes. So essentially, we're one YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. two manufacturers, and three stores. Any of those places would be happy to help you out. You can find information on our channel, of course, on our websites and through our dealerships. We have real staff, real people that would definitely help you out throughout any part of your journey. Exactly. <laughs> Just say Gabby sent you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to join a live video. That way, if you want to catch us in real time the next time we go live, which is every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you know where to find us. So it's the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube, very appropriately named. <laughs> From here, all you want to, or all you have to do is scroll down and you'll see we have today's upcoming video. Now, because I didn't refresh my computer, that's why it says upcoming. Once 2 p.m. hits, that's gonna showcase as live. All you have to do is click on the video. I'm gonna mute it real quick. <laughs> and then you'll be live and chat with us. You can see this is where questions roll in. So we usually dedicate between five to 10 minutes, sometimes a lot more because we get carried away to answering your questions in real time. So that's one of the huge benefits of joining us live. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done yapping. Let's take a look at this vehicle. So this exterior is showcased in gravity gray, which is our darkest gray color. Looks absolutely stunning. And this is a metallic paint with a beautiful shimmer in the sunlight, which you don't have because it's winter here in Canada. Mm -hmm. In the front, you're greeted with a beautiful facelift. This was um, introduced for the 2022 model year, and oh my gosh, did it change the way the soul looks. So everything is encased in your glass here. So of course, your lights, but also the Kia emblem is tucked away, nice and safe, no scuffs, no damage. I like that, how it's on the light, actual light. Yeah, and, it's oh, all that's shielded. Cool. The so, not so square square. Yes. <laughs> so in the past, the Kia emblem was located right over here. This um, relocation has drastically changed the look of the Kia Soul. I think it looks cool. much more refined. Very, very nice. Now, one thing I always like to mention whenever I film the beautiful Kia Soul is yes, it's square. Yes, it's boxy. But you know what? It's the last one standing. So Honda Element is gone. The Cube is gone. The Scion XB gone. The Kia Soul remains. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's for a reason. <laughs> okay. Let's get those lights on. You'll see that this vehicle has full LED headlights. So your daytime running lights, everything is an LED. Very, very bright, very easy to see at night. And because this vehicle is not too, too low and it's not too, too high, you're not gonna blind people or shine their lights inside their cabin, but you'll be able to see everything. Now looking at our front grill, you can see we have a very wide, very aggressive grill center here. Let's take a look. Integrated into this grill, you have your front sensor. So that's gonna be used to pick up other vehicles, again, avoiding a collision. So if the vehicle senses that the car ahead of you is suddenly stopped or slammed on the brakes and you fail to react, your car will brake for you. 
It's very intelligent. They're really hidden. Yeah. I can't even show, usually I'll show them the sensors, but yeah, I can't so on this one. it's extremely hidden, which is very nice because aesthetically it looks much better. Um, but yeah, the way they incorporate it into the grill, uh, perfect cool. blend. Yeah. But on top of that, it's not just going to pick up potential risks for vehicles, it's also going to work on pedestrians and cyclists. So I think this vehicle is perfect for city living because if you have a lot of cyclists, a lot of pedestrians, and of course a lot of cars, it's nice to have that second eye looking out for you. Really, really helpful. Okay, moving on to the wheels, this is something that's exclusive to the EX Plus trim level and something that would make me get this trim over the one below and that is these beautiful 17 inch alloy wheels. They are stunning. Um, I wish we had a more funky exterior color to make them pop, but you can see they're beautiful. Uh, I realized I talked about the wheels without mentioning what's under the hood, so let's take a look. Sorry to bring you guys back and forth, but I'm just it's... really excited today. <laughs> All right, so. Under the hood, you're greeted with a hydraulic hood. Ooh. So nice, easy to open, of course. Um, for your engine, you have a two liter, four cylinder gasoline engine with 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. Now this vehicle is definitely not a powerhouse, but it is plenty capable to get you up to highway speeds, sits very happily at highway speeds, and it always gives you extra power when you need it. You have a dedicated sport mode too if you want a little bit more sensitivity to the throttle for faster acceleration or just passing. So very nifty, very handy. <laughs> On top of that, this vehicle is very fuel efficient considering its size. This is not a full size SUV, but you can fit a lot of stuff in here. And if you're a taller person or you got taller passengers, it is very height friendly thanks to its square stance. So on the highway, it's uh, seven liters per hundred kilometers. So that's Canadian measurements, and that's pretty oh, good. Oh wow, that's good. It's very good. All right, we'll move on to the back. The Soul has these beautiful, distinct boomerang taillights. I love this look. Um, still, it's a little funky in the back. The, mo the front has turned into a more modern square type. The back still has a little bit of Soul to it. We got our Soul badge on the very left, Kia badge in the very center, and that's it for badging. Nice and simple. <laughs> We'll open this up and you can see, oh my, <laughs> there's a lot of space here. And then of course, with that boxy look, you get a huge opening here. So furniture, no problem. People, no problem. Strollers, not a problem. You can fit anything in here. It is quite spacious. <laughs> now, if I were to knock the back seats down, I'll show you how to do that. You'll have to come to either the left or right passenger side. It looks bigger that like the opening at the top is bigger than most SUVs actually. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So height-wise, this vehicle really has an advantage. Um, knock the seats down very easily. They're only on an ever so slight incline, so you still have pretty much a flat surface. If you want to camp in your car, you totally could. Yeah, lift this. Here. Ooh, lots of room here. <laughs> yes, lots of space and, of course, a real spare tire. So great peace of mind. A lot of vehicles in this size class have removed their spare tires and are moving to a mobility kit. It's great to have a real spare with you. Now I'm going to slide this down and drop our floorboard. And you can see, oh my gosh, we have even more oh, space. Yeah. <laughs> so we just gained that much space. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real measurement. So seriously, tons of room back here. This vehicle is extremely capable. Um, if you don't want a full-size SUV, no problem. You get the benefit of almost a sedan-type fuel efficiency, but the room of a smaller SUV. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna move to the driver's area and I'll show you what we have for driver convenience features and just general comfort. I'm gonna have Mike peek in first before I hop in. For our seats, we have a two-tone cloth. So our center inserts are more of a gray type with um, some side stitching. And then the rest of the seats are a beautiful black cloth. Definitely breaks up the interior, makes us feel a bit more spacious. The seats themselves are quite comfy, almost feel like a couch and they are heated for both the driver and passenger. Very spacious cabin here. I wish I was taller so I could show you guys just how height friendly this vehicle is, but you'll just have to trust me on this one. Or if Pat was here today, he's 6'2", and he's very tall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hop in real quick. Now, I have my seat in a very weird position, but this is perfect for me to show you guys how you can configure your seat. So it is a manual seat, of course. However, very easy to use. Push it down to drop it down. Crank it up to bring it up. If you want to adjust the angle of recline on the back, oh, <laughs> you can do so nice and easy. And then, of course, to bring the seat closer or further from the steering wheel, you're going to reach between your legs, grab your metal bar, and slide. So it's on rails. Stop it wherever you like, and your seat is perfect. 
Now, height-wise, this vehicle, again, sits higher than a sedan, but not too, too high like a truck. So if you have issues getting in and out of your vehicles, this is the perfect height. Um, we do see a lot of people choosing the Soul just for that reason. They can't fit into their truck anymore or their sedan, and they love the Kia Soul. For the steering wheel, it is heated and leather wrapped, so it doesn't matter how you like to drive, at any point of the wheel, your hands will be nice and toasty. You never have to worry about gloves again. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth media controls. So voice commands right over there, volume, a phone button, and a favor button. So the favor button's quite cool because you can make it do whatever you want it to do. If I push this, it's gonna take me to a screen on our main screen. And this is gonna allow me to select any of these options or whatever I would like that button to do. Best part is you have two of these favor buttons and both of them, they're not connected, so you can set them both to do different things and not have to cycle through whatever it is you're looking for. I'm gonna grab that from you, Mike, yeah. real quick. All right, let's take a look at our gauge display. So you can see it's not fully digital, although it does have that appearance. The portion you can actually play around with and change is this center 4.2 inch display. So to adjust that, I'm just gonna press this notepad button here. And it's gonna cycle between our lane keep assist menu, our drive info, which will show you your trip, user settings. This is where you'll play around with your safety. So <laughs> play around with your safety, that does not sound good. This is where you can adjust your safety settings. So we'll go to driver assistance here. You can adjust your speed limit warning. So you can have it actively assist you or just provide a warning or my favorite, shut it off completely. <laughs> Don't tell Kia Canada. <laughs> All right, next up we have warning volume. If you find that this vehicle's warnings are a bit too high pitch or low pitch for you, you can adjust that. Same with your attention warning. This vehicle will let you know when the car ahead of you is left, which is extremely handy in stop and go traffic and drive throughs. For driving safety, you can turn on or off your forward collision avoidance. Also adjust the uh, time frame. So if you think it's a bit too early, lane safety, quickly turn it off. And then same with your blind spot and safe exit assist. I wanna talk about safe exit assist very quickly because it actually happened to me this morning. So I drive a Kia Forte, has the same safety feature. Essentially, I stopped my car, I was about to get out, there was a car coming up in my blind spot. This vehicle has blind spot detection, meaning not only does it monitor that when you're driving, if there's a car in your blind spot, even when you're parked and you're about to get out of your car, it will warn you if someone's coming up from the side so you don't swing your door off, hurting yourself or another driver or pedestrian. So, very handy. <laughs> now I'll have Mike join me on the passenger side and we'll go through everything else. I was going to sit in this before the video started, but I thought, you know, for the oh, regulars, it'll be you know my what? Let first me take time the camera coming then. in. This is Mike's first time sitting in a Kia Soul. <laughs> Hop in. Oh, it's everything I dreamt of. <laughs> Let me just sit the seat. It's comfy, you know? You know what I do notice about this and I like? I, I, is it bolstering on the, on, the, on the bottom part too? But I do like how this is a little bit more raised. It's like, keeps me in. Yeah. Actually, the bolstering is nice. I don't know if it's just my body fits perfectly in it. It's comforting. You know what? The soul, yeah. the soul aims to be your soulmate on the road. It wants to keep you comfy. It wants to keep you happy. And it mm -hmm. does. Oh, my God. I got you. <laughs> Come on. Sunglass holder. Come on. So if you guys are new here to the channel, this is a huge deal for us. Not a lot of our vehicles for 2023 onwards. For some reason, Kia is getting rid of the sunglass holder. And for why? What a great feature to have. So this is becoming one of our uh, most requested features. That's so Look satisfying. That. It's so nice to have someone to wear yeah. your glasses. Okay, but let's talk about what yeah. makes the EX Plus different and why it's a bestseller. Sunroof. <laughs> so the EX Plus introduces the power sunroof. So may not look like much, but when this cover is open, it really opens up and brightens the cabin space. So especially for the front two drivers, because the back passengers don't get the sunroof. But it's very nice. <laughs> so let's open it up. And then if you push it back a little more, you get a bit of extra space. A lot of people don't know that about their sunroofs and I only found that out recently. <laughs> All right, <laughs> back to the main screen. So the Kia Soul EX Plus is the last Soul in the lineup to feature this eight inch touchscreen display. And that is not a disadvantage. You know why? Because the eight inch display features wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, meaning you don't have to have your phone's charger with you and you'll never have to have it with you because on top of that, you even have a wireless phone charger right over here. So this shelf, it has a grippy surface, drop your phone in there. And then as long as your phone is capable of inductive charging, it charges without a cord, which is perfect. 
Now, as soon as you hop out of the vehicle, of course, you're, or hop into the vehicle, I should say, your phone automatically pairs, so you never have to worry about fumbling, plugging in your phone. Okay, back to the screen. This screen, if you're not using Apple CarPlay, you still have regular Bluetooth, so taking calls, playing music, whatever you like best, and of course, you do have your regular radio stations. We also have buttons to cycle through whatever menus you're looking for, and top of that favorite button that I mentioned earlier, volume knob, tune knob, seek and track, and even setup. If I press setup, it's gonna take me to my menus that allow me to change things like my device connections, and this just happened, daylight savings time. This is where you go to adjust the time on your car, which ours is wrong right now. But let's do it. It was that easy. <laughs> <laughs> so now our car is back to regular. Just below that, we have our climb control. So nice and easy, adjust your temperature here, fan speed, and then fan direction. In the very center, we have our AC button, rear defrost, and recirculated and fresh air. If you look a little closer, you'll notice those aren't just regular car diagrams. They're in the shape of the Kia Soul. None of our other vehicles dedicate those buttons to the actual vehicle shape. So that's pretty special mm -hmm. if you ask me. I think that's why this vehicle is a top seller. Okay, I digress. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> That's why you like the Santa Cruz with the... Right, because it's, yeah, it's yeah. a fun little Easter egg. You know what? It's attention to detail. Yes, right? exactly. Um, it's a little hard to film here just because the shift here, knob's in the way. Let's see. All right, 12-volt charger, yep, USB in the very center for connectivity, and then a USB-C on the far right because it's 2024. Everything has a USB-C now. All right, moving forward. Heated seats, two different levels, driver and passenger heated steering wheel, and a drive mode select. This drive mode select offers two different options. You get normal and you get sport. And not only does it change the way your vehicle responds to throttle input and steering, it's gonna change the screens just a little bit, which is pretty fun. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> handbrake, perfect if you're looking for some sweet handbrake turns, especially oh. this coming winter. No, but seriously, a handbrake is a great advantage, especially when it comes to safety, because unlike a traditional, not traditional, I should say, an electronic brake, you can actually control how much brake force you want, and you can pull it whenever you want. So, um, let's keep going. <laughs> Two cup holders, center console. It's a pretty standard size center console. You do have this little um, divot here for where your handbrake is, but it doesn't take up too much space. I'll have Mike showcase the glove box and then we'll <laughs> talk about the back. Showcase the glove Are box. Are there lights in here or is not that just a reflect? It's just a reflection. Oh, not, it literally looks, I don't know if you guys see, it looks like little, you know, little cutouts and there's lights behind. So they did, let me see that side. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind the dirty window, but. No, even keep it open. <laughs> You're not going to see this now, but it looks like there's lights. Like it's kind of like, see, that's really cool. It's okay. Fancy. I told you guys it's my first time in here. <laughs> <coughs> Boom. Oh, it's a pretty good size glove box, you know? Scooch these uh, manuals, over. manuals over and you can fit your gloves in here because you don't need it for the heated steering wheel. No more. Or as I do, receipts. So yeah, no, a lot of nice room. I mean, big, mm -hmm. as a passenger, I got my cup holder. I've got my bottle holder down there. And I like it. You I like, do it? like it? Yeah, no, I like it. I, okay, I'll tell you something. I'll pick this over a venue. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just because it's a little bit more fun. Yes. Right. This so. vehicle is definitely fun. I, that's how I like to put it. It's fun, but it's also functional. Mm -hmm. It's the fun and functional, if you will. All right. I realize I did not talk about the right side of the steering wheel, and this is very important. So on the right side, again in this circular cluster, you have a button for your cruise control. Set your speed, and then pause it. To the left of that, you do have your lane follow assist button. So when I give this a push, it's going to um, bring that little icon up there on the screen, which won't focus because there we go. All right, and that means that our lane assist system is active. So not only is this vehicle gonna let me know if I'm about to depart from my lane, it will if you, or won't if you signal your turn, which please remember to do so. It's actually gonna keep me centered in the lane. So if it sees an upcoming curve on the road, whether it's city speeds or highway speeds, your vehicle will actively steer for you. Um, after a couple seconds, I think it's about 30, 40 seconds, it will provide a warning reminding you to keep your hands on the wheel. It's not a full self-drive, but it's definitely advanced and it's very, very smooth. All right. Welcome chime or goodbye chime. And let's mm -hmm. take a look at the back. <laughs> Wait, let me get my sunglasses from the sunglass holder. All right. So now we're in the back. Again, the seating pattern has remained the same. So something I can really appreciate from Kia, they don't leave out detail in the back. 
So these seats are very, very comfortable, very nice to look at, and they all have car seat anchors. In the very center, if you don't have anybody sitting here, you can pull this out and you have a drop down armrest or cup holder situation. Bring it back up and you've got a lovely bench. Now in the very middle, we do have two USB-Cs. So again, this is 2024. We're all about the USB-Cs this year. In the very back of your passenger seat, you have a leather pocket, so completely enclosed. Really great if you are leaving, I don't know, an iPad in the car, whatever it may be, because everything's covered. That's about it for the back though. <laughs> it is very, very comfortable. Like I mentioned, let me close this. So you can see, I'll sit as straight as I can to be as tall as I can. There's still a good chunk of space. If I was sitting normally, you can see there's still so, so much space back here. Lights in the very back. They are LEDs, of course, so very nice and bright. And just so much leg room. You'll notice that the floor is almost completely flat, almost like an EV. So if you do yeah. have somebody sitting in the very center, it's pretty comfortable for them because they don't have that big hump in the middle. So you can sit normally, which is quite nice. Again, the seats are very, very wide. So lots of room to get yourself nice and comfortable in the back. Right. I, think I love that how that like, it looks cool, like eh? there's lights yeah you got to rewatch this video and see it. it all looks like just lights that fade away yeah so the way it uh, reflects light coming in it does kind of have that almost ambient light effect, yeah which is it's very really nice. cool um, they've also continued on with that material along this panel here and one thing I will say some Kia vehicles put piano black here if you're unfamiliar with piano black it's beautiful but it's a nightmare so a fingerprint collector if you will this is fingerprint safe, which is very nice. All right, let's hop out and answer some questions. See what you guys have to say about the Soul. And if you would consider this to be your next or your newest Soulmate. Um, let's see. Is that the sound of rain or leaves? I think oh. it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully our connection doesn't get too bad. Yeah. I'll move this over, get a little <coughs> less sportage. It's not time for the sportage today. And get more soul. Um, let us know if the connection is pretty bad, you guys, if the picture quality is rough. There was a video that we filmed last week. It was the Palisade Calligraphy. Mm -hmm. So a beautiful, beautiful car. And I thought we did so well in that video, but we had to delete it because the video quality was just so poor. It was so bad. It was like if they put a Palisade in a Nintendo video game. Yes. <laughs> a regular NES, like if anyone knows what that ago. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, Ryan DuPont asked if they still have the Tech Edition. No. So we do have what's called an EX Premium, which is similar to the Tech Edition. It's going to offer the larger screen and a couple more bells and whistles, but we don't have a Tech. And another thing we get asked about a lot is if there's still a Turbo. There's no Turbo option for the Soul. So the GT Line Soul <coughs> is naturally aspirated. We don't get the Soul in us. Oh, there's no Souls in Australia. Oh. Um, the person asked, do all Kias have what what the feature is auto auto hold auto hold all all kias have them no? no 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 so typically the only vehicles with auto hold are ones equipped with electronic parking brakes so something like this kia soul will not have auto mm -hmm. hold okay yeah. one thing it does have though and i realized i did not speak about it when we were filming is the idle stop and go so if you've ever been at a red light and the car beside you seemingly shuts off this car does that but that conserves fuel. <laughs> so it's not gonna turn off your vehicle completely. It will temporarily shut off the engine. However, if you have your AC on or your heat on, your car won't do that because it wants to keep you nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is that your mom's Sorento charging up outside? Yes, it is. <laughs> I, it's so crazy how you guys remember things like this. It's, it's nuts. <laughs> well, how did they even see? Oh, I guess when we were walking around the back there. Yeah. Hi guys, Gabby, you are sounding much better. Has Kia and Hyundai eliminated power outside folding mirrors on all their lines? I have them on my 2022 Sportage EX Premium. Any reason why? Thanks. So we still have quite a bit of cars that do have it. However, the Sportage does not have it available on any of them. So it doesn't matter if you're getting the fully loaded gas model, fully loaded PHEV, or fully loaded HEV. None of them have power folding mm. mirrors, which bugs me a little bit. Yeah, I do yeah. really like a folding mirror, but... Mike, you love it, admit it. You know what, I'll tell you something crazy. <laughs> if I got into this car and I was making a choice between this and like any one of its equivalents or competitors, I would honestly make my choice based on the sunglass holder. I know that's crazy to say, but like, I think we've just hyped it up so much, me and you, that it's, it's something now that I think is just like, whoa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so 
Stephen Winter said, very boring video. Ta-ta for now. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Stephen. Okay, to hear said not related, but EV9 prices are out and they're amazing. I saw your text message to here and that blew my mind. Really, really good starting price. You also mentioned if we know the pricing for any of the other models, and at this point we don't, which is crazy. I don't know why they don't tell us this stuff, but we're figuring out when you guys are, and once we do know anything else, I will let you know. I'll let yeah. everybody know, yeah. but yeah. especially yeah. to here. <laughs> yeah. Android Auto, yes, and Apple CarPlay. Yes. Um, this car in all-wheel drive would be unstoppable. So we have so much request to make the Kia Soul all-wheel drive. They actually made the Seltos in all-wheel drive, which is a similar size vehicle, I guess, kind of to differentiate the mm -hmm. bit. Um, no news on if the Soul will ever become all-wheel drive, just because we do have the Seltos now, though. Um, let's see. Angel said very fancy. Oh, thunderstorms. <laughs> do you hear that? Yeah, it's rough. I'm hoping it doesn't affect the um, connection. Yeah. Okay, Kevin N just gave us all the pricing, I guess. <clears throat> so light rear wheel drive, just under 60,000. Uh, wind rear wheel, 62,995. Land, so, hmm, very nice. The pricing is good. Yeah. So that's for the EV9. Oh. Yes, not for this. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> the soul is not almost $80,000. <laughs> Um, that being said, pricing, this exact trim level is priced at $25,495 Canadian. And mm -hmm. this is right smack dab in the middle of all the trim lines of the Kia Soul. Um, definitely the top seller, like I mentioned earlier. Um, you said $24 something? This is a 2024. Oh, the no, price? The price. $24,495. Whoa, that's nice. $25,495. Oh my gosh, sorry. <clears throat> um, let's see. Joseph says he does love a sunglass holder. It's a huge deal. And if I was in charge, all of our cars would have them. Yeah. But I'm not in charge. So. Um, Bulletin Blair said the Soul is the perfect car and Brantford Kia is amazing to work with. Thank you. <laughs> so I can attest that this Kia Soul is the perfect car. Um, Blair actually purchased Soul from us last month. I believe it was last month. And we delivered it to him personally in his town. It was so much fun to drive out there. So much fun to meet Blair and I, I great <laughs> it was a lot of fun <laughs> uh we'll go back down a little bit um joseph said the seltos is the sole but higher yeah definitely a lot of style differences but um essentially the same size or same idea but different application um and then bulletin blair said gabby drives really fast and i think that's a perfect way to end today's video <laughs> um if you are looking for a car that you can drive really really fast and it's super comfortable <laughs> It's the Kia Soul. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. If you're looking for a vehicle that can fit your family, if you're a little bit taller, if you want a vehicle that's easy to get in and out of and still gives you a good ride height, they can see everything happening around you, it's the Kia Soul. For a really good monthly number. Yeah, yeah for a, of course, a great of payment. Of course, 100%. It's a great vehicle. Okay, now I will end off today's live video. If you're watching in the future and you have questions for us about the Soul or about any Kia or Hyundai vehicle, or just you have questions, please leave them down below and I'll be happy to check them out as soon as we're done or as soon as I see them, I guess. And take care. Have a good rest of your day. Hopefully it's not raining where you guys are. Bye-bye.